Today we are uh, creating a book cover using the new feature in Affinity Publisher 2.6 and uh, this is to create a book cover with a spine that is uh, in the middle of the front and the back pages. Uh, this is only available to do it in this way in Affinity Publisher 2.6. So let's get started. Here we have our new document. I'm creating an A5 press ready document. There are the, the dimensions. Default master is there. Our layout, now our pages. We're not creating facing pages. Just uncheck that if you've got it checked. Just take uh, your check out of there. Uh, the color should be CMYK, your margins. I've chosen 15 all the way around. And we're including margins and we've got a bleed of three millimeters and we shall create our document. Now we've only got one document, but watch this new feature. This is a brand new feature inside of Affinity Publisher 2.6. Let's add a page, but we're not adding one page. We are not flowing pages. We're going to extend a spread. So now we only had one page, but we're making it into a spread of three pages next to each other. So we're adding two pages after page one by extending the spread. That's all we need to do. And we say, OK. All of a sudden, we have three pages next to each other, which none of the other versions of Affinity Publisher were capable of doing. We're going to change the size of the middle page to become the, uh, the spine. All right, we right click on our little icon and we say spread properties. Now we see the same little icon with three pages next to each other and we're going to select a page. And we select page two and that'll be the middle one. Uh, in your dialog, you're going to have this little connecting icon for the two dimensions of width and height connected. They look like that. So you're going to disconnect them by clicking on it. You've broken the connection between the two. Let's say that your, your page needs to be 14 millimeters wide, your spine, the middle. Uh, you're going to Let's say click next to the digit of 8 and you will backspace or delete. And now you have 14 millimeters. For page 2, it'll be 14 millimeters wide. Scaling, now watch what's happened. It's The icon has changed already. It's indicated that that page is now 14 millimeters wide. It was just my phone ringing. Sorry about that. Anyway, so now we have uh, our margins. Now we want to change the margins. All right, so now we're going to not use, we're going to deselect use master's margin values and we'll say include margins. We're going to go with our left margin will be 12. You'll see why in a moment. Our right margin will also... Oh, oh well, sorry about that. Uh, let's just make them all 15 again. I forgot to deselect or disconnect them. Let's go left margin will be 12. Right margin will be 12. Make sure you disconnect uh, these from each other. All right, left and right margins are 12, top and bottom are 15, you'll see. All right, so we're ready to go. There you go. Let's increase the size. Size is increased, and there we go. Now I'm going to do a very quick little thing, 
just so that just for time's sake say this is our front margin and uh, we go all the way up to the spine very important that you go to the spine make sure you go to that that little page line over there uh, we're going to duplicate this this uh, page and for the back page by holding down alt or option and click and drag and let go option and now we have a back cover front cover back cover front cover can be that orange color uh, let's say back cover can also be orange and now we're going to make the spine hold down option or alt click on your left uh, page your back page and let it go go to oh no we don't want a purple thing let's go to a dark uh, sort of a darker orange just to differentiate the difference between the spine and the rest of the book cover all right, there we go. Okay, now, now obviously this is just to show you that we have a front cover on the right, a back cover on the left, and a spine in the middle. Obviously your text will go in there, any pictures you want uh, on the front, on the back, any, any, uh, any text that you want to add in, uh, you can, you can add some uh, let's say add some filler text uh, you can you know this is this is really up to you uh, I use uh, what do I use hmm uh, I know let's go Avenue I go for Avenue next 12 justified and that's all fine for some text uh, you know you you know what I'm talking about we can create a little rectangle at the bottom obviously we don't want it that big uh, we're going to make it white that will be for our a uh, little barcode you can resize that uh, you can put in a a picture frame for the person who, the, who, the, who is the author place it over there fill it with some kind of gray color if you want it's up to you then you can uh, we can go over here and we can say we want a square fitting you know scaled large scale thing and it'll wrap itself around our our text uh, if we don't want that kind of formatting we go to our paragraph I'm just doing this very quickly folks just want to show you we can just take that away we can so our first we want a first line indent idea you know what I'm saying doesn't have to be as much as that it can be eight no you can do almost anything you like it just depends on you uh, let's just see our text color is not quite black it's a little bit small so we're going to make it about 14 there we go all right, that might not be really what you want. You might want to take that out. All right. You might want a little drop cap over there. I don't know what you're going to want. It's just up to you. So that's fine. And then, of course, your wording on the front. Uh, let's say you will say you want say uh, front cover all right that's it's like the title of of our of our book and just center it in the middle and obviously i don't know but you're going to want to um 
you're going to want to have your author author author's name over there and whatever else and you know there's all sorts of decorative things you can do this is just a very very rough example of your book cover but you'll get the idea obviously you want to save your document uh, out now what you can do at this point you can export it as a template uh, I'm going to go to documents my documents and I will say I want to save it in affinity uh, publisher 2.6 templates and I'm going for uh, number three a5 book cover with spine three there we go it's now saved out as a template all right now say for instance this is all done and we want to export as a PDF we will export and we ignore our flight uh, warnings we're going for a PDF yep we are taking a preset for press ready we're including the bleed uh, we want it in the current spread that's this that's the option in the middle we are also saying our JPEG quality if we've got any pictures must be hundred percent we are going further down it's all CMYK keep this compatibility uh, lower don't go too high because a lot of printers don't have those installed on their printing machines and on their computers and whatever you so leave it as is unless of course you're informed otherwise now we go to include printers marks yep but we exclude these three options at the bottom only include the, the crop marks that's all you want and everything else is fine and export now you're going to be asked to give it a name and we shall say book let's say cover test test cover test there we go now it will create your PDF as you'll see it's doing now uh, let's see you wonder why nothing's happening I don't know if we did we uh, something's going on I don't know what's going on uh, let me read the update is unable to check for the latest updates remind me later please all right it doesn't look like anything's happened because of that problem we will export again ignore uh, leave everything as is press ready uh, include bleed current spread all the way down 100% for JPEGs CMYK include printers marks only crop marks is what you want and then export um, let's have a look our cover test is there uh, and we save it and now we can view our cover now let's have a look there we have our crop marks there's the folding marks they are uh, dotted lines and there are other crop marks all the way around the document that would be our spine in the middle back cover front cover and so forth and that is how your printer will expect to receive your PDF document from from you all right there we go I hope you've enjoyed this little video thank you very much for watching I hope it's helped you remember this will only work in Affinity Publisher 2.6, the latest update. There you go. Thanks a lot.
and bye-bye.